What's going on guys? Today we have my daily driver, 2011 BMW 135i with the dual clutch transmission. I thought I'd do a little review, let you know what I think about the car, the modifications I have on the car, and so on and so forth. Like I said, the car is just a daily. Uh, most of you know I have the Evo, which I'm building. So I just want to have a nice daily driver, automatic, something the wife could drive. Um, it's got the iDrive, red interior. It's nice. But being who I am and my addiction to boost, I had to get the 135 straight six. This particular model has the single turbo, but it's twin stroll. I know the older models have the twin turbo. The mods on the car are currently a Cobb access port, stage two aggressive. So what that means is that I have to run 93 octane, intercooler, which is the ETS five inch core, fits right in there, no modifications, and a four inch catalyst downpipe. And the car is night and day difference. I believe, as Cobb says, it's around 80 wheel horsepower and 120 foot pounds of torque. I used to have a Subaru and going to their stage two, eh, it was all right, you know, you notice a little bit, but it wasn't like doing this. This, um, this is a blast. I can literally hit in first gear with traction control all the way off um, and roll first through second spinning, um, which I thought was kind of, it was pretty impressive. See, it has a bunch of different features that I like about the car. For one, when you hit sport mode, it actually does something. Um, it actually, it's more responsive. You can hear the car and the shifts are a little firmer. So like right now, normally just driving the car normal, I'm in seventh gear by 40 miles an hour. But when you put it in, see right now I'm doing just over 40, I'm gonna hit sport mode. Not a whole lot changes. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sixth gear. Now I'm going to slide it over. So now I'm in fourth gear. Third. So you can kind of see there that I was probably 70% throttle. The car is very responsive. It makes a lot of low end torque. All right. DSC is completely off. Sport mode on. We're gonna drop it down. Let's see if I can do a U-turn. There's third, and I'm not manually doing anything, which I can if I want. There's second. All right, now we're back in fit. Drop the window, and I'm just gonna hit it. We're at a. As you can tell, that's why I like the car. It's fun. It's simple to drive. Doesn't give me any issues. Some of the things that I don't like about the car, and I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. The BMW allows you to only do so much. So for an example, when I first did the install, we loaded the map, stage two. The first like hard hit I did on the car, like started backfiring, 
probably blowing flames and just freaked out. Well, the car actually shut down on me. A uh, message popped up. I forget what it said now. Something, you know, power output reduced. Kind of freaked me out, but I'm like, well, I guess that's kind of cool because it, I guess it could have blew up if it wanted to, but it, it didn't allow me to, you know, stay in it, stay in the turbo and just whatever, it was, you know. So the car shut itself down. So right there saved me um, a lot of stress because that would have sucked if this motor would have blew. How would I compare this car to others? From the factory, you know, yeah, it's fun, it's quick. The tag says slow BMW. And I've never had a chance to race its bigger brother, the M3. Now, I would race anyone, whether it was a Lambo to my Eva, it doesn't matter. I just enjoy it, the thrill. Win or lose, I can care less. I know it's not the fastest car on the planet, but it's just fun. Again, this is my daily. And, um, but I've never gotten to race really too many people. For one, it's a BMW, you know, you don't look at this car as like, oh, let's go race it. But then some people who do know about it, um, especially when they see the tag slow BMW, they probably think that's not slow. And for the M3 and bigger and faster cars, they don't, I don't know if it's pride, but they don't want to race me knowing that they could lose, which is gay because win or lose, again, I would race anyone. So how do I compare it to other cars? I don't know, this probably runs, it probably runs mid 12s right now as is. Um, tires I have on it are a set of Nittos, the new G2 555s. Decent tire, quiet, um, but as you can see, doesn't get traction on the low end. So I imagine do a race gas tune with some slicks. I can probably get this thing maybe, maybe into a high 11. But am I gonna do that? No, it's not its purpose, not my goal. Um, all right, let's see if we can do a little bit here. Just play with the paddles. fastest thing but uh, it's not the slowest either guys and that is it um, just want to do a quick review of the car the parts and just how I overall think about the car um, so anyway more to come right now like I said the Evo's in the shop so you won't really see too much of it but um, I'm gonna be doing reviews on other cars and parts and so on and so forth so if you have something you want me to look at or you want me to review something, let me know. Follow me, IG, Induction Addiction, Facebook. And um, until then, 